This question delves into the world of molarity. Molarity. The rarity of moles. It says that we have a solution that by mass is 13% sodium chloride. And then it asks us to calculate what the molarity of that solution is. In order to do one of these solutions where we're given a percent, like 13% sodium chloride, for instance, what we should begin by doing is assuming that we have a 100 gram sample in our hands. And the reason that we do that is because it's really easy to calculate everything if you just assume you have 100 grams. If you had 100 grams of a uh, solution that, had, that was 13% sodium chloride by weight, then you would have in that solution 13 grams of sodium chloride and 87 grams of water. Hopefully you're okay with that. Keeping in mind that molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution, what we really need to determine now is what the total number of moles of solute would be if we had 13 grams of sodium chloride. And then how many liters of solution that course, this would correspond to. So if I got 13 grams of sodium chloride, I use the molecular weight of sodium chloride. One mole of sodium chloride weighs, and I think I, I looked this up earlier, but I can't remember what it is, uh, 58.5. You can round if you want, I guess. It depends on where you, uh, how many significant figures you have in your periodic table. But anyway, 58.5 grams per mole. I throw that into my calculator, and I determine that that equals 0.222 moles of sodium chloride. Hopefully we're good there. Now, this 87 grams of water, we might be a little bit confused because you might think, well, I just have to determine how many liters 87 grams of water corresponds to. However, when determining molarity, we, don't, we aren't just calculating liters of the solvent. We're calculating liters of the entire solution itself. That includes the sodium chloride, which presumably might increase the volume slightly. So how in the world do we do that? Well, it gives us in this problem the density of this particular solution. It says that the density, which I'll abbreviate as D, is equal to 1.1 grams per milliliter. So when you have 13% sodium chloride by weight that in water, that happens to be how dense it is. So how do I calculate liters of solution? Well, we go back to the beginning. As I mentioned, we're supposing at the outset that we have a 100 gram sample of the solution. Because it's 13%, sodium chloride by mass, it follows that we have 13 grams of sodium chloride in that solution. How much total solution do we have though? Sodium chloride and water together? It is actually 100 grams. So I'm going to write down 100 grams of solution, and I'll abbreviate that as soln. Now I'm going to use the density to convert that into liters. So I've got grams in the basement, milliliters on top. I want liters, so I'm going to put milliliters down here in the basement and liters on top. According to what we've to been told in the problem, 1.1 grams per milliliter is the density. So I put 1.1 grams in the denominator, one milliliter in the numerator. One liter contains 1,000 milliliters. So I can throw this into my calculator. Grams cancel each other out, mils cancel each other out. I'm left with a certain number of liters. That number comes to uh, 0 0.090909, etc., etc., etc. And once again, I'm not being very judicious about significant figures at this point. We'll do that in the final answer. Now, molarity, once again, is going to be equal to moles of solute, in this case sodium chloride, in total liters of solution. Liters of solution. I've got my moles of my solute right there. I've got my liters of solution right there. So you take this number put it on top, this number, put it on bottom, and then you get your final molarity, which is the correct answer to this question. I'll let you do that on your own.